something that came to me this week was stop rushing God's plan. And when it came to me, it was like patience, having patience. And we've talked about this before. We talked about this before. I've told you guys about this and like for myself, learning how to have patience. And you guys know I did post a video about kind of like me venting and how I've been feeling like these past months, basically the whole year. <laughs> if you guys wanna hear about that and kind of get up on game with how I've been feeling, I will link it in the iCards in the description box, but it was my latest video. It was like, I need to really start practicing patience again. And I think at one point I was doing great with having patience and somewhere it just kind of faded away and I started just feeling like this sense of like rushing things. And it's not even just my journey, but like rushing my work, rushing um, to just get stuff done and over with, like just trying to hurry up. Like I was in a rush to do something and go somewhere. One thing that we all know about rushing, rushing things can really mess up the process. Rushing could, you could miss things when you're rushing. You could see things in a different way, perceive things in a different way when you're rushing. I mean, it's a lot of things that go into rushing. When you're rushing, normally you are a little bit stressed, a little bit tense, um, sometimes emotional, it, depending on what the situation is. And so when I started thinking about all these things, I'm, because if I try to rush my journey and, and try to rush the plans that he has for me, everything is, is all about timing and what's supposed to happen. And when you're rushing the journey and what's supposed to be for your life, for your journey, for your testimony, if you try to rush that, it kind of will redirect you into a different path that's kind of like off the path, but then it can still lead you back onto the path. But at the same time, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> it just really stuck with me and I'm like, okay, Lord, I need to take a step back and really just take a chill pill. I think a lot of it, social media has put all of us in a, in a place where, I'm gonna speak for myself, you, it, social media can put you in a place where you feel like you're missing out. Um, you have a FOMO, fear of missing out, or you feel like um, it's not enough time, or it feels like, okay, I'm getting older, I should be doing this, or I've done this already for a couple of years, why is this not happening? Why is that not happening? And Having people's lives in front of us all the time, people's businesses, lives, and just other things in front of us all the time, it, it can really affect the way that we view our own journey and our own lives. And it can really affect the patience that you may have had because now you're feeling like you're a little bit behind and that you need to kind of hurry up and rush. Gotta get back to reality. And I, I really feel in my heart that for me, I need to get back to putting social media kind of back to the back, you know? And when it, when I mean by that, like obviously I, this is my job. <laughs> so it's a little hard to do that. But at one point when I was really kind of, at one point when I was really creating my routine and really getting back into the groove of just enjoying my life and I've just felt more peaceful and what was going on during that time, I was actually not scrolling. I was not scrolling, I would just go on social media and post my stuff and be gone. And I think that really helped me to kind of be in my own bubble and kind of just do things my way. When you're constantly looking at what everyone else is doing, when you're constantly looking at everyone else in their lives and what they're doing, it, it almost like does something to your mind. And I don't wanna say, I don't know if it would be like an influence or what, but it does something to your mind where now where you were in your safe space, where you were peaceful, where your journey, taking your time with your journey and learning and, and finding yourself and being yourself. When you look at everyone else, it kind of changes the way that you view your journey and you start to feel like you're behind or you're not doing enough or the steps that you took, the baby steps that you took, you feel like they're not even baby steps, you know? And like, I should be here now, why am I not? And this person got this opportunity and I think a lot of it just has to do with what we're view, what we're watching. And everyone's, everyone's journey is just gonna be different. If I rush God's plan and what he's trying to do in me, what he's trying to show me and put me through, if I rush that, I won't be able to understand his plan. I won't be able to understand why I went through certain things. I wouldn't understand how 
how it kind of feels to go through trials and struggles and and learn about myself. And I think through I think through the struggles and through your journey, you you get taught something about yourself. You get taught things that you may be lacking that you need to work on. I think of all these things when I think about journey, your journey, your healing journey, your journey with your career, your journey with your life. And sometimes I, I believe that we have to go through things to make us stronger, to understand what to do and what not to do. Sometimes to learn about patience, to gain patience and to learn how to Think first before making an, an action and learning how to trust yourself, learning how to trust God and and all of these things I think has a lot to do with our journey. God always wants to show us something in his plan and we may not understand it. We may not may not grasp it at the time, but there's always a reason like I feel like there's always reasons for things that happen in our lives and why something didn't happen back then and why is it, why it's happening now. Sometimes it can be our decision. Sometimes that can just be a part of the plan. But that's why I think it's best to really rely on God and for him to show us what we need to be doing and what's next. Allowing God to be at the forefront of our journey and our plan, it allows us to make sure that we're, we're walking on the right path and I know for me, I wanna make sure that I'm walking on the right path in my journey and making sure that I'm doing what is a part of God's plan for my life. My plan is to slow down and just really feel this process. And I think that's the thing, we all run away from, it's like we run away from wanting to feel those feelings because we know those feelings are not the best feeling in our journey. You know, we don't wanna go through that mountain. We don't wanna, feel sad we don't want to go through these hurdles and but it's just like we have to remember it is life like this is what life is but if you have God on your side you have family and friends that are there for you to encourage you it's not going to be as hard you know and if you are going through it alone and you feel like you're alone well you do have God to rely on and God is always right there and something that I was just like man that was so good like I really needed to hear that and I felt like that was what God was putting on my heart as I've been dealing with just a lot of things and going through stuff and just in my head a lot. It's just like, you gotta trust God's plan and you gotta know that everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to and everything is gonna work out in my favor. Just remember during your journey and whatever you're going through right now that everything is temporary and we just have to know that this is the time that you have to go through this you go through it and you're gonna come out on top. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and found this helpful. <laughs> I don't know, I like these sit down videos where I kind of just can talk to you guys and just like, just talk about what's going on and things that I've learned and what I'm learning. And I don't know, I feel like I'm always gonna be forever learning. And I don't know, I'm just, like I've, there's times where I've learned these things, but then I kind of revert back and then God sends it back to me again to work on again. Cause like there has been different seasons that I've, I've worked on patience. I thought I was good, but then it was like all of a sudden now I don't got patience <laughs> and it's like, Oh, here we go again. You know? So it's like, sometimes that happens, but I don't know. I'm just excited to see this time around what, is gonna happen with me when it comes to my patients this time. Um, and what is gonna be like the outcome and how different it's gonna be um, once I gain that, the, once I gain the patients back and kind of learn from this. So I don't know y'all, I just, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful and I love you guys a lot. Make sure that you guys are just slowing down and just don't rush the plan. You know, don't rush God's plan. I love you guys. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.